want to create a navigation bar like this and become like this on the mobile screen size, it also has a normal menu, drop down menu, and fixed position menu when on scroll. After this video, it will become so easy. To do this, meet our friend Navbar. Let's get acquainted with Navbar component from React Bootstrap. It takes the role of a navigation bar container. All the menus, logo, it's all become Navbar child components. It has six important attributes that you would like to use. On responsive responsibility, it has expand. On color theme responsibility, it has background and variant. On positioning responsibility, it has fixed and sticky. You can only use one of these. I personally prefer that you use fixed attribute because not all the web browsers support the sticky attribute. And last, we have Collapse on Select. This one is very useful on a mobile screen size. I'm installing React using Create React App. If you don't know how to install React using Create React App, just see the link at the top right of this video or at the video description. Pause this video see that one first and if you're finished just start this again are you done let's install bootstrap and react bootstrap if you want to see how to use all basic form components for bootstrap i have a video playlist for that I will leave the link in the video description and also on the top right of this video for you guys. Now, the React Bootstrap installation is done. Let's clear HTML code inside app.js. And now it's become a blank page. Import the essential CSS from Bootstrap. Then import the component we want, which is navbar. Now, put the navbar component in our HTML code. Let's see the result. Still blank, right? That's because we didn't set our background. Let's use dark for now. Let's try to change it to light. Okay, I think I prefer dark for this one. As you can see, the height of the navbar is too small, right? Don't worry though, it's because we didn't have any elements inside it. To see the real navbar, let's put our logo. For this purpose, we'll use navbar.brand component. And what is it? Navbar.brand is also a container but specific to logo related uses. It can be a link. You can just use an href property for that. What about the image, logo text, and other things that you want to be in the brand? You can. Just put it as a child component. First one, just use text logo. See the text? Of course it is hard to see, because we didn't set our theme color. Let's use dark theme color by using the variant attribute. Now we can see the logo. How if we want to create our own background color? We can easily set up our color and still using dark or light variant by creating a custom background class inside our CSS. Let's open our app.css and let's clear all of this. We don't need this. For this example, I will use CSS class background-myRed. 
I want my background to be red. The point of this custom class is using BG dash as a prefix. That way, navbar can detect and use the CSS. Now, apply our custom class to our navbar background. It's become red. Nice, right? And it's very easy to do. Sometimes, we want an image for our logo. We will use the React default logo as our image. Type image HTML code and put logo as our image source. Oh yeah, another info about navbar background. You can use any bootstrap background styling for navbar. For example, we have success, danger, and anything else you know from button or info bootstrap styling. We can use all of that. Let's try this out. Try success, danger, now try info. Okay, it's proven to be a success. Let's move on. I want to show you about fixed and sticky on navbar. For that, we need our content. We will try sticky first. To make it clear how it works, I will add 3000 pixel height for our content. See, the sticky working that way. How about fix? Let's do the fix top first. Now we can't even see the content. Why is that? It's because the content layer is overlapped by the navbar component. This is the default behavior of fixed attribute. That's why we need to add our own margin to make this work well. Okay, I think 60 pixel does well. Let's try fixed button now. That's it. But if we use the bottom navbar, we don't need our margin for the content. Let's remove it just to see it better. We need to know other components to finish this navbar. Let's get to know the others. What is navbar.toggle? What is it for? I'm pretty sure that you have seen this burger icon in many sites, right? This is the navbar toggle. It will show up when our screen size is smaller than our minimum width requirement. And where to set it? Remember expand attribute from navbar component? It is where we set the minimum width. Don't worry about it first. The most important thing is you know these things first before you dive in. Okay, we got a toggle. But what is the container component that will appear when we press this toggle? The name of the container component is navbar.collapse. Inside the navbar.collapse, we have a menu container component with the name nav. Actually, you can use nav directly without navbar.collapse. But if you do this, you can't use the toggle. Because the toggle needs a collapse component, so the toggle knows which menu container that it must show or hide. Let's say, if you don't care about the mobile user, you don't even need the navbar toggle and navbar collapse component. A menu container is useless if it doesn't have any menu item. So, what must we put as child components in the nav component? First one is nav.link. It's a normal menu item that can have a link. Second one is nav dropdown. It can have a submenu inside it using 
left drop down dot item and if you like a separator line you can use nav drop down dot divider okay enough talking let's dive in add our nav container first now we can create our items inside nav using nav dot link create products link Let's see. Hmm, the menu item is overlapped by the logo. I know this one. It's because the image logo doesn't know its width and height. Let's give manual sizing for it. Okay, it looks good now. I will create other menus like About Us, Block, Contact Us. I'll fast forward this one because it's too straightforward. Done. Now we can try to use the drop down menu inside navbar using nav drop down. Let's change our products to drop down so it can have many categories inside. Put our item inside nav dropdown using nav dropdown dot item. Again, this is just like as nav dot link. So I'll fast forward this one. I've made tea, coffee, and chocolate as product categories. See the result? It's nice, right? Now we will create one more category to see how the divider works. Create item promo which stands for promotion and then use nav dropdown dot divider to separate the promotion with other categories. Let's take a look at the result now. Nice, I love it. How about you? It's done for our desktop site. How about the mobile version? Let's resize our browser to see how it works on mobile screen size. Okay, quite bad. To make the navware component work responsively, we can add expand and set our size threshold so the navbar knows when to change to a mobile menu type. There's XL, LG, MD, SM that you already know too from normal bootstrap styling. To show you how the responsive menu appears, I will use LG first. Much more makes sense for a mobile menu, right? Now we need to add the burger icon called Navbird Toggle. See, you can already see the burger icon, but the menu item is not inside it. We need navbar.collapse now as our navigation menu container and just put the nav components inside the navbar.collapse. Now it looks like a proper mobile responsive site. Let's ignore the error warning, because it's from the React Bootstrap, and I'm sure they'll fix it. By the way, the error is not that dangerous, because it's caused by deprecated code. It means that they just need to change something, and it will remove the error, so we can relax about it. I want to show you about the collapse on select attribute. For this, we need to change the URL first, so it will not refresh to another page. See, I can click the menu, but the menu won't collapse. If you want this behavior style, it's okay. But if you don't want it, you can make it collapse using collapse on select. 
on our network component. So easy, right? Okay, we're done with the mobile responsive. We can change the expand to the right value for mobile. I'll use SM for this. This is the normal size. Now I resize it to small screen size. It works! Okay, I think that's it for now. I hope this is helpful. Please thumbs up or thumbs down this tutorial. But if you don't like this tutorial, please tell me why so I can become a better tutor. Thank you for watching. See ya!